came in for a dive box. Um, we didn't really know what it was until we were almost there, and it was a car in the water with a person uh, on the car at that time. And when we arrived on the scene, uh, he was still clinging to the car. Uh, I attempted to, uh, to convince him to let go and just float away, and then he let us know that he could not swim whatsoever. And initially, I thought the car was not in deep water, but when it started sinking out from under him, I was like, oh no. When I turned back, uh, he was already underwater. Um, he wasn't struggling very much, which I found kind of odd. I'd never seen anybody not struggle when they were trying to stay afloat. He just went down. Contemplating on taking more water into my suit so I could get lower into the water because the suit has buoyancy and I could not dive under the water. And so eventually I started doing that and just as that happened I saw uh, fingers and about half of a palm show up and I grabbed that at a full arm's length under the water. And then a wrist, then a forearm, then an elbow, then I got a shoulder and then I put him in a headlock and by that time they figured out what had happened uh, on the shore and then they started hauling me in as fast as they could. Uh, we're talking next to another 30 seconds and he would have been dead. Definitely. Um, and we would have been not rescuing, we would have been recovering the body. It is, it is a, that's a special thing because of not, we do, we do, we save people in the slightest ways a lot of the times. And so you, you don't really like snatch them from the jaws of death. And in this case, it was one of those things. So it's actually pretty kind of, it's a special thing for, you know, for once in a lifetime type thing. It doesn't happen very often.